Hey, 49ers fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Chat Sports, and today we are literally like two hours after the cut, depending on when I'm recording this. Yeah, like the official cuts have happened. The 53-man roster is finally official. It's here, and we're going to dive right into exactly who got cut, who made the cut, and who is going to be obviously a part of the 2019 San Francisco 49ers. Before we jump in, though, quickly, if you have not already subscribed to our 49ers only Chat Sports YouTube page, you might be watching it on that page, so go ahead and subscribe here. Greatly appreciate it. Or if you're watching on our Chat Sports page, then go to www.chatsports.com forward slash 49ers, and then you guys will be able to subscribe there to our 49ers only YouTube channel be sure to subscribe plenty of great content coming up there so one more time go ahead and subscribe all right let's start with the two biggest cuts the ones that have surprised me the most and obviously number one Jordan Matthews the wide receiver guys I'm gonna I gotta call myself out here I've been saying for weeks that Jordan Matthews is going to make this team now I'm not alone look up almost any 49ers beat writer reporter whatever all the guys that are at training camp many of them said many times that he was going to make this team. It made a lot of sense. He's a proven veteran, had an okay preseason, but apparently had a really good training camp. So I'm shocked that he is actually not going to be a part of this team. And that does mean, as we'll see later, Kendrick Bourne does make the squad. That was essentially the battle there. They like Bourne more than they like Jordan Matthews. And here we are with Jordan Matthews not making the team. The other player that I'm surprised to not make the team is Elijah Lee. They actually did some interesting stuff with the linebacker position. We'll look at that a little bit later. But Lee was someone we expected to essentially be the backup Sam linebacker, especially after Dre Greenlaw, or, uh, yeah, excuse me, Dre Greenlaw is going to be the starting Sam linebacker after cutting Malcolm Smith. So, of course, Malcolm Smith was cut a little bit later or, or earlier on in the uh, like, preseason, I guess a couple days ago. That means Greenlaw is going to be the starter at Sam. I thought Elijah Lee had a good enough preseason and training camp to be the backup. Not the case. He has been let go as well. Listen, that means they trust Greenlaw a lot. They must think the Greenlaw, and I'm not saying he's not because I think he's played very, very well, but to let go of Malcolm Smith, who had a fine training camp, and to also let go of Elijah Lee shows their belief in Dre Greenlaw and the fact that he is going to be the starter there at the Sam linebacker. Those are your three or your two biggest cuts here. Moving along, how about the notable cuts? So again, Matthews and uh, Elijah Lee are there. How about Josh Garnett getting a let go as well? The former 2016 first round pick battled injuries basically his entire career uh, and only played in this fourth preseason game and came out at the end of the first half. So it's not a surprise, but it's also, wow, you know, a 2016 first round draft pick no longer with the team. Thought he could potentially be a swing tackle. Not the case. They are not going to have Josh Garnett on the squad. Adrian Colbert, the defensive back, we talked about a lot on this show. Many people said he was not going to make it, and here we are. He was not able to make it. Bad ejection earlier on, getting fined for a bad, uh, you know, helmet to helmet hit in early on in the preseason. And then in the, this past game, Basically didn't play in the first half except for one play. And then the start of the third quarter, he had to come out with a hamstring injury. So that makes a lot of sense. And Demontre Morris. I think, I think I said that Demontre Morris would make the squad uh, on the defensive line. I thought he would. 13 tackles, 2 sacks in the preseason. But at the same time, it's a loaded defensive line group. So someone's got to go. Dem uh, Demontre Morris is someone that I really think is... Uh, going to make a squad potentially somewhere else. I'd probably throw Jordan Matthews and Elijah Lee in that list as well. Which of these cuts surprised you guys the most? Out of the five here uh, that you see on your screen, is it Matthews? Is it Lee? Is it Colbert? Is it Moore? Which of these guys surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll go ahead and throw, the, throw them up and kind of work our way through them. These are kind of the other, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the other guys uh, that did not make these squads. Again, you see them going through your guys' list right now. A lot of them, you know, we expected Chris Campbell wasn't going to make it. Uh, someone like, like I said, Josh Garnett, not, not going to make it. Kevin Givens, and I just jam-packed defensive line. He was obviously not going to make it. Some of the ones that are also a little bit surprising, like the linebacker David Mayo, another linebacker we... Talked about a lot, said he had a really good preseason, but obviously not able to make it. And Leroy Reynolds, another linebacker who was cut as well. Wilton Spate did not make the list. That's not a surprise at all. You could potentially bring him back to be a practice squad guy a little bit later. I think Sunday they finalized their 10-player practice squad. Wilton Spate potentially, but he did not make it. Wide receiver Chris Thompson also did not make the cut. And finally, uh, the running back. How about Jeff Wilson Jr., who had an excellent uh, fourth preseason game, 100, or 20 carries for 100 yards. He did not make it as well. 
What they're gonna do with the running back position is very, very interesting overall. We're gonna dive into that here in just a second. Your IR players, Jerick McKinnon officially put on season ending IR. We will not see him in a Niner uniform this year. Nick Williams, Coleman, and Tim Harris, the cornerback, are not gonna be uh, basically playing their own IR right now for the remainder of the year. Right now, the only pup list player is the tight end, Garrett Selleck. Tight end position, very interesting. We're gonna get into that in a second. And then, of course, the line sniper, long sniper Kyle Nelson is suspended to start the season. There are all your cuts. That's what we have right now in terms of who all was let go. Again, I'm pretty sure I got them all. Again, there's a lot to get to go through online and figure out who it all is. Here is now the official 53-man depth chart here for the San Francisco 49ers as we dive right into this. And quickly, let me just point it out. It's cut day, so I wore the cutoff sleeves just for cut day. Just, you know, just to let you guys know. In case you're wondering, normally I get the, you know, the collar shirt sleeves on. It's cut day today. Cut the sleeves off. That's why we're going with this. All right, moving on. Your depth chart. How about this? We mentioned this could be a possibility. Three quarterbacks, Garoppolo, Mullins, and Beathard all make the squad. I think Nick, I think uh, C.J. Beathard played well enough in the fourth preseason game to make the squad. He's shown in the past that he can be a starter. Whether that means he wins or not is up to you guys, up to the run, you know, whatever. did not win a lot, but he is going to make the squad and will be the third quarterback again. There's someone who comments every single time I mention Jimmy Garoppolo getting injured, saying that I want Garoppolo to get injured. The answer is obviously no. He needs to have a big year. I think that at the same time, Beathard is probably some insurance just in case Garoppolo uh, is unable to stay healthy through the entire season because he's never played in like more than six games in a single season. I don't want to be injured. Stop commenting that. I just want to make sure we're backed up. And that's what we have right now with C.J. Beathard. How about the running back spot? Only going to carry three. Tevin Coleman, Matt Breida, and Raheem Mostert. There is going to be no fourth running back on the squad right now, which, okay, it's interesting. I mean, you got a lot of trust in Coleman and Breida, I think. I mean, you would love to have McKinnon in there. Obviously, he's going to be injured, but Coleman and Breida are now the feature backs. Fantasy tip, randomly, really quickly, take Tevin Coleman in your fantasy leagues. I took him in my draft today because, again, no uh, Jarek McKinnon. Mostert's not going to play a lot. It's Coleman, it's Brita, but Coleman will be the workhorse back here. I would draft him a great flex, a great running back three. Throw him on your squad. Of course, Kyle Juszczyk is a fullback, technically a running back. You know, however they want to say it, but he's the other fullback there or the other running back on this squad. Wide receiver, I mentioned... Biggest battle going into camp was going to be the wide receiver spot. They keep seven. Dante Pettis, Marquis Goodwin, Trent Taylor, Richie James, Debo Samuel, Jalen Hurd, and there he is, Kendrick Bourne makes the squad as well after an up-and-down preseason, up-and-down training camp. Rich, Richie James makes it as well. I think he led the uh, team with 12 receptions in the preseason, so there you go. Those are the weapons that are going to be used by Jimmy Garoppolo throughout, th throughout the season. What do you guys think of those? Um, again, I really thought that uh, Jordan Matthews was going to make it, but this is probably what we expected. You know, Pettis, Goodwin, uh, Samuel Hurd, Bourne, Taylor, and Richie James are going to be the seven wide receivers on the squad. Tight ends. How about them keeping four tight ends? And besides the fact that Garrett Sugg Sugg's on the pup list, George Kittle, obviously, they're going to keep Dwelly, they're going to keep Caden Smith, and they're also going to keep Levine Toilolo as well, which is, many people thought... You know, bring him over from Atlanta, who of course was with Kyle Shanahan, but potentially you're only going to keep two tight ends, so you let him go. Four tight ends is a lot. Expect a lot of two tight end looks here in this offense as they try to run the football and establish the run with Tevin Coleman. Offensive lineman, again, Josh Garrett, the only one that is a, kind of a surprise cut. Here are your eight offensive linemen. You know, you don't even have to read them off. These are pretty much the guys you guys expected to be there. Staley, McGlinchey, Person, Rickberg, uh, Garland, Lake, Lake and Thompson. A school did uh, make it, and Brunskill made it as well. Those are your eight. Defensive linemen, this is uh, the most talented group on the entire in the entire roster. Not a lot of surprise here. Buckner, Ford, Bosa, Armstead, Thomas, Sheldon Day, DJ Jones, Ronald Baird, Julian Taylor, and Condavia Street. Street actually made the roster as well as uh, we expected him to, being that he is a young guy. But those are your 10 that's going to happen right now. And again, no Demontre Moore as you would like to have him because he played well in the preseason, but you go, well, which one of these guys you want to swap him out for? And, you, and then you read it and it's like, well, it's probably not going to happen there. Your linebackers. Um, interesting. It's going to be Warner, Alexander, and Greenlaw, and they keep uh, the rookie Aziz we talked about earlier on, who was having a good preseason, and then one more as well as, again, you see on your screen. Again, Warner, Alexander, and Greenlaw are going to be your starters at the Mike, the Will, and the Sam. It's a great linebacker group. Not a lot of depth behind it, but I think they really like Aziz Alshire as uh, the backup there. Liked him more than Elijah Lee uh, and Mayo as well. So we'll see. 
Again, the front seven of this defense is stacked. I think the cuts show that and make it uh, the case that there are probably some good football players who might be able to make other teams, but could not make the 49ers because they were that stacked. Um, defensive backs, are we surprised here either? I think we've known this for a while. DJ Reed, uh, Tart, Ward, Moore, Sherman, Witherspoon, Verrett, Williams, and Emmanuel Mosley are going to be your nine defensive backs there. Again, um, not a ton of depth, but also it's better than what we saw last year. So we're going to roll with nine right now. And then your three specialists, potentially two of the best kicker tandems in the entire NFL with the place kicker and field goal kicker Robbie Gold and the punter slash rookie Mitch Wisnowski, who we've talked about many, many times in the show as being an absolute hit so far in preseason. He's been pinning guys deep. He has been hitting long punts, high punts, whatever. He has been really, really good. And like we said earlier, Rob, Robbie Gold, you know, take him in fantasy because many people won't take him. But he, his accuracy is ridiculous, and he's been one of the best kickers for the past couple of years. Glad to have him on our squad. There we go. We ran through it all. I mean, not a lot of surprises. A lot of stuff, as I look back through it, that, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Jordan Matthews, again, I, I you know, I, I don't know if it's because I, I, I just like the fact that he was going to play in the slot and be a veteran. It's not a big deal. Bourne's our guy. Bourne led, led the team in receptions last year. He's going to stay. Elijah Lee just tells me that Greenlaw is it is better than people expected or as good as people expected, depending on, you know, they drafted him. So we shall see. But overall, this makes a lot of sense. I don't know who the 10 are going to be. They're going to bring back to the practice squad. I think they got to finalize that Sunday, depending on when you guys watch this video. They'll let us know, and they'll bring the 10 back, and you can add from other practice squads. So still some, like, very bottom-of-the-barrel people to go ahead and bring on to practice squad, but that'll be happening here in the next couple of days, depending on when you're watching this video or what already happened. So go ahead. Let's go ahead and grade the 53-man roster. Let me know what you guys think about the overall roster again. Are there any surprises on here? Are there any ones you don't think should be on here? And then go ahead and give me a grade, a letter grade, A through F, A plus, B plus, C plus, C minus, whatever you guys think here. I think we're looking at a uh, pro probably a B, a B minus overall roster. Again, there are holes, and we, we, we know that here with the 49ers roster, but there are also people in the national media who are picking us to get, have, have nine wins. So it's going to be interesting. I like what they finally narrowed it down to, and now it's just a matter of waiting until we go on the road to take on Tampa Bay, literally, depending on when you watch this video, eight days from now, and hopefully we're able to get a big, big win there against a Buck squad that is rebuilding, bad on defense, and has Jameis Winston as a quarterback. So we'll see. Again, let me quickly uh, throw this in at the end. 49ers mailbag coming up next week. Use the hashtag 49ers with your question. I'll answer it. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our 49ers only chat sports page. 100 subscribers away. Go subscribe, please. Let me just do it right now and help me out a lot. I would appreciate it. Uh, and then, of course, plenty of great content coming up here in the future. There we go. There's your 53-man roster for Chat Sports. I'm Thomas Mott signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day.